Hello guys, this is Deathrill. Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Build a Modern City series. This is episode number seven. And excuse that background noise, my PC likes to make noises when I get messages and stuff. My apologies. But today, well, today what we're going to be working on is we're in a different area of the city. As you can see, I just made this little area we have here, extended the river and extended this road. And the hotel is over this way. You'll just see it loading in in a little moment. My game is struggling quite a bit. I may need to allocate a little bit more RAM for this because I'm using shaders and stuff. But yeah, that is what we were working last episode. This episode we're going to be working over here. And my aim for today is, well, I want to make a sort of townhouse area of the city. So it's, it's an area where, of course, people's, people are going to live. But it isn't deep within the city, it's, it's, well, it's in a different district, the river separates this district here from the district over there. Now over there that's going to be where you have all your big fancy city buildings, like your um, banks, your office buildings, your city hall, all that stuff. And here it's more going to be general populace. Even though I put a hotel over there, that's prob probably going to be one that's dedicated for business or for people with a lot of money. So that is why it's there. Yes, very strange, I know, but yeah. This episode is going to have a lot of planning, so you're going to see me play some coloured blocks in certain places to tell me that certain things are going there. Like you see in a lot of big um, building servers where people are building together, such as on the World of Kral server. But yeah, we're going to take a few of the viewer suggestions today, such as I planned this, but someone said in the comments anyway. Normally on roads, you'll find those little areas where you can park a car. Now, you don't so much get them in the big parts of cities there. Well, I wouldn't put them there because it can cause traffic congestion, which is where, if you're not a drive on the road, it's basically where it causes a backlog of traffic. So we're going to put it here because these streets aren't going to be as busy, and they're also going to have people's homes so it's more logical to put them there. And plus, over in the main part of the city, we're going to have parking lots and stuff anyway. We're going to be putting one right behind the hotel. So that sorts that problem. Also, another viewer suggested with the lamppost we have, because I really said a tutorial on them, they suggested putting an anvil in the bottom and extending the half slabs. I'm not a fan of that design because I tried it earlier, but I may tweak it slightly and do some things in the future, or maybe sometime in this episode to see what can happen. Anyway guys, I've rambled on for long enough, you're here for the time lapse after all, so let's get stuck into it.
Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse, but before we end the episode we're going to go and to take a look at everything we made. So yeah, on with it. Now, you may be wondering with the way I had them this road. Hold on, time of day isn't the best to show this. It's a better time, too bright, so you couldn't really see the colours on the road. Anyway, yeah, these are parking bays. They're pretty long, so they can accommodate both the Land, well, the Land Rover things and the Mini Coopers we have built as the vehicles, and quite possibly other ones when we eventually make them. So yeah, they can accommodate them. Yeah, what I was going for with the build was I wanted a townhouse per parking spot so that's why they're so thin but that's also why they're so long to accommodate for the thinness so yeah back here we have a little road that runs down this is where you have like your garbage truck that will come and collect your garbage and stuff so you maybe have your bins and stuff and we're going to mirror townhouses on this side as well and yeah, basically what those red wheel markings are, that will be townhouses. I added some windows in, there's going to be more, more windows added up there, but of course we never done much work on the top four. So I guess we should take a quick look inside. Yeah, basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to make this building very homely. Now I'm, I'm horrible, and I mean I am horrible at doing buildings and interiors, but yeah, this is... I'm still getting used to it, so I wanted a kind of modern design, but something that feels very warm and like you. I don't know how to explain it. So basically, how I got that was I used the spruce wood, what we used outside, with a combination of oak and birch, with the red carpet and glowstone brief, and yeah, it creates little nice things like this. This is a carpet. A little desk with a little seat. This is meant to be like a laptop or something. I may redo this and centre the laptop so then we can have a slightly different seat because it looks a little bit off the way it's sitting. But that is, of course, a work in progress. And here we have the main lounge with a TV, of course. What I wanted was I didn't want the room to be too open, so I had a separating wall right there. So you can't see right through to the opposite end of the building, even though you can see the ceiling, but that's different, I had some more fancy shelving there. Kept the same theme going throughout, I had some seats, with a little TV there, and yeah, we've got some windows to add, let in some natural light, even though the sun doesn't quite get there. Next we have the main dining room, pretty simple really. All the chairs are right up beside the table, not because I had to do it because the room was small, it's because it's as if if you were finished eating at a dining table you would push your chair in. So that is what it's meant to achieve and of course more windows. I, was, I should have actually put one there when I think of it. And finally you have the kitchen, this one's pretty bland. But yeah, I noticed this when I was doing the editing fix that because I'd rather not have the dispensing part showed. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that fixes that problem. But yeah, this one's a lot darker. I don't know why. I think these rooms feel so right. It's because of the carpet placed over the glowstone. It just creates this effect. And of course, access to the rear of the building. Now finally, we'll check the upstairs part. Sorry if I sound exhausted, it's just this has took me a few days to do, we had a few setbacks. Yeah, so we we'll followed the stairway up, this is pretty dark because we didn't do much work on it, but that is something I will probably do off camera or we may come back to it at a future time. But basically what we're going to have up here is we're going to have the, the master bedroom, the other bedrooms, say maybe a game room, anything else that you would see in a kind of high quality lifestyle in the city something like that I guess but yeah I'd just like to say thank you all for watching these episodes 
the likes and the subscriptions have been shooting through the roof recently, so keep them coming. Anyways, I'm afraid we're going to have to end it there, so if you like this episode, make sure to hit that like button, and if you really enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.